Um, while I dial somebody, Cyrus, can you quickly explain uh, type 3 diabetes, Alzheimer's? For sure, for sure. Uh, okay, so type 3 diabetes is, is – think of type 3 diabetes as basically insulin resistance of your brain. Now, insulin resistance can affect many tissues. It can affect your muscle and liver primarily. It can also affect your pancreas. And researchers are now finding they can affect your brain. When insulin resistance affects your brain, the results – your brain is slightly different than your, than your liver and muscle. Okay? And the reason for that is because your brain can really only operate on glucose versus your liver and muscle who can operate on multiple fuels. But point being is that when – your brain becomes insulin resistant. Uh, the results can be disastrous because in the long term, it increases your risk for what's called cognitive decline. Cognitive decline is basically um, a, a fancy scientific way of referring to the reduction in neurological activity that happens over the course of time. You can lose spatial awareness, you can lose memory, you can lose motor function, and all of those can be grouped into this thing called cognitive decline. And what researchers are now finding is that people who have insulin resistance of their brain end up at a very high risk for, the, for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Okay? So Alzheimer's disease is a very, 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 very debilitating condition. And uh, if you ever know somebody who has been affected by Alzheimer's disease, um, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, Scientists used to believe that there was no solution to Alzheimer's disease because for the longest time they were treating people with drugs and the drugs weren't doing anything. Um, but it turns out that uh, modern science has actually found that treating people with a diet that insulin sensitizes their muscle and liver also sensitizes their brain. And as a result of that, they can not only slow cognitive decline, but they can also regain neurological function. So... Um, Type 3 diabetes is not something to play around with. It usually, you can't feel it right here and right now, but you'll feel it 20 years down the road. And that's one of the reasons why Robbie and I like to take a preventative measure and teach people how to adopt the most insulin sensitive diet they can now. And as a result of that, you can stave off, if not completely eliminate your risk for Alzheimer's down the road. There you have it.